I'm on my way to meet a man who has been chosen to lead his people in an epic struggle, one that also requires superhuman endurance. He's asked me to come to Devil's Tower in Wyoming. This is Chief Arvel Looking Horse, the chosen one of the Nakota, Lakota, and Dakota tribes. I brought him a gift of tobacco for his sacred ceremonies. Oh, oh, thank you. So, Chief, tell me, why did you want me to meet you here at Devil's Tower? We call it Mato Tipila. Mato Tipila. Ah, that's one of our PowerPoints of prayer, of worship. It's like a church. This is where white buffalo calf woman brought that sacred pipe to our people. So the story is that 19 generations ago, our people were camped here. At the time, there was no more food because people were abusing life. From a distance, they saw a cloud. And then from that cloud, there's a woman. She brought that sacred pipe. She said, I'm bringing this sacred bundle to you that you shall live in peace and harmony. The white buffalo calf woman taught Chief Arvo's people how to respect Mother Earth and worship the great spirit with the sacred pipe she gave them. Does it still exist? Yes. Since the age of 12 years old, I've been uh, the keeper of the sacred white buffalo calf bundle or pipe. They call me Chanupa Awayanka. Chanupa Awayanka. Mm, have me yet. The white buffalo calf pipe is so sacred that Chief Arvel cannot let anyone outside his tribes see it. So your grandmother was the keeper of the pipe. Yep. She said that you were to be next in line. Yes. My grandmother, on her deathbed, she told uh, my family, we are at the crossroads. Earth changes, climate changes. And that if the people don't straighten up, then he shall be the last bundle keeper. <laughs> 